WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 349. NASDAQ was off 304. S&P's down 70. Gold, gold contract uh, down $17.70 at $18.53 an ounce. We had silver down 33 cents, $21.94 an ounce. Platinum off $12.30, 1,016 an ounce. Light sweet crude, that's the one that's in there. Up 344, 120.32. Light sweet crude, folks, going for that highs of 147. Pretty amazing. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down seven ticks, trading 118.20. 30-year off 13 at 138.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 325, up rather 325 ticks, 102.149. Euro at 107, yen at 130.86, and the British pound at 124 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks. Bottom line is that what you did on the weekly. And remember something, folks, you're doing volume out here on the weeklies. Uh, bottom line, you're going to add in the day, okay, because it's a four-day week. What we had out here is that you can see uh, last week we did 426 million. This week you do 331. Uh, so the bottom line is still going to be lighter volume. You get over the high of the S&P at 415. You're closing out at 410. That says, guess what? You're going to start heading back downtown. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What do you have with the NDX out here, the three Qs? Put this on a weekly. Okay, so, on a weekly? Yeah, it's a weekly. Okay, so we got to a price point, 309.25 last week. 330 million shares. We did 243. You add in the other day, the bottom line, you're still going to get over the highs, close underneath, and it's a failure on price, failure on volume. And what it does, it puts game on once again to go after this low that was established out here two weeks ago of the 280. That's how this thing's shaking out, man. And, you know, you can see on the other side of this chart, folks, okay, you know, there's, there's, there's good, you know, support. Well, when I say good support, you know, what, what stopped this thing the first time down, what it should, I mean, we're down so fast, okay, is that, you know, from, let's see, from uh, September, or actually August, going all the way over to uh, December. That's where we traded sideways. And that's, you know, you know, so you can come down there again, you know, not break it, bottom line. You know, if you break it, oh baby, get out of the way because you break it, that'll get you right down to February of 2020. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off nine o'clock in the morning. Don't forget about my workshop. It's next Friday. If you want to understand time of the trade, price and volume, check it out. Yeah, look at them, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better